In this video, we're gonna be using Seaforth Spice by Spearhead Shaving Company and the Phoenix Starling Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me this morning. I really appreciate it. As mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Seaforth Spiced by Spearhead Shaving Company, and this is a beautiful scent. Oh, it, it's just really a beautiful throwback scent. We'll put the notes or the way they describe it for you right there. Mandarin, aldehydes. What are aldehydes? I don't know what aldehydes smell like. Um, anise, uh, cinnamon, vanilla. For me, I think I get mostly the mandarin, the vanilla, um, the cinnamon. It's reminiscent of Old Spice, but it is certainly not a dupe. Uh, the scent was made by Chant Chantillion Lux, which again, um, I'm super happy about enjoying the scent because this is only the second one that I've ever enjoyed. And really that makes me happy because I don't like to not like scents that people put out. This is a beautiful soap. It is reminiscent of this one. And these two sort of came out close to the same time, diver down. But fortunately, they are not exactly uh, the same. This one, the diver down from PAA, is a little more spicy. Uh, this one... It's a little lighter and brighter, and I love both of them. Uh, if I had to only pick one, I probably prefer the scent on this one just a little bit. And the packaging on this is on point. Beautiful label. It's got all the elements. Very easy to read. I really like Spearhead's uh, labels on these Seaforth uh, uh, soaps. Really, really nice and elegant. At least I think so. The razor for, to for today, excuse me, is the Phoenix Shaving Starling SE, and I believe this is the first version. Uh, I'll link below the version too. I don't think they have any in stock. And this is a gem style razor. I'll go ahead and take it apart so I can show you the blade. It uses the old gem paint scraper looking blades. And now this particular one that I'm using is carbon. So you'll see a little discoloration in it, but the blade is just fine. And we'll load it up. This, by the way, is an aluminum uh, razor. And the way that loads is the blade sits there and these two notches sort of hold it in. And we'll put our top cap back on and just make sure everything is locked into place and screw it back down. This uh, was sent to me by Marion the Barbarian to try. So thank you, Marion. I've had this for quite some time and never used it. It's about time I got around to it. And there you see the razor. And again, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is the version one. Version two uh, had some improvements made based on feedback, I think. So uh, take that for what it's worth. Uh, today we have 24 hours of growth, which is our standard growth. And we look forward to using this uh, really great smelling Seaforth Spice. Again, think in the realm of Old Spice, but not a dupe. And it made a quite a nice, easy lather. It was easy to work with. Didn't require a lot of effort, with it, which I really uh, like. And again, today I want to take time to remind everybody that Show lathers are not necessary. We just need to get some slickness on the face. And for me, that's all I need. So while it's nice to make the lathers that are showy and super heavy and dense, for me, it's not required and, and perhaps not for you either. But if you want to, that's entirely okay. But for me, I just need to get a sheen of slickness on my face. But I will say this uh, Spearhead soap here lathers quite easily and for me, that ease of use is, uh, it's important uh, because I, I just want to, you know, come in there and sort of enjoy it, not have to really uh, work too hard at it, break out a, break out a chemistry, chemistry stat or, uh, I'm tongue twisted. <laughs> I can't even speak, let alone lather this up. Um, anyway, ease of use, I think is something we need to keep our eye on with these soaps to make sure uh, they don't become finicky and this one was not so that's a great thing i don't want to bring chemistry equipment here into the restroom to make a lather <laughs> that's just me okay first few strokes with the starling nice you can definitely feel some blade there but it's not too menacing or at least doesn't feel that way for me i think the blade this particular one is i think i've got two marks on it so i've used it twice before razor feels pretty nice um, I've never used this one before, so sort of, uh, getting the feel for it feels pretty nice. Actually, it's, uh, cer certainly going to be reminiscent of those old, uh, gem style shavers, 
the clog proofs and the, you know, razors of that sort of ilk. Um, it's certainly cutting well, and that's great. I'm not sure what the improvements are in version two of this razor, but uh, I do like the way this razor is shaving. Again, it's aluminum. It is uh, 775 aluminum. And it came with two plates. Originally it was, uh, or at least the V2 listed on the website is uh, $39.95. So I would say not a bad price. With, uh, and it came with an open comb plate, I do believe. Now, one thing I noticed is these blade stops here. They're a little on the sharp side. So if you get that razor, if you sort of torque it a little bit, you'll feel that blade stop on your face because I just felt it on my neck where I torqued it a little bit. So be careful with that. I don't know that they would cut you, but you can feel them. If you don't put that razor on your face, right, and you twist a little, um, I did feel that blade stop a little bit, so that's something to be aware of. And I don't know if that's something that's been changed in version two. Again, I'm just using the one that Marion sent me to try out. But that first pass was nice. And I'm really excited that in that first pass, um, I did not get any sort of uh, irritation from the cinnamon, because sometimes cinnamon can uh, produce a, swipe, a slight uh, burning effect on my face, but even though I'm, I'm smelling cinnamon fairly prominently in this soap, I had no problems whatsoever with feeling any sort of a uh, frag burn or anything like that. So that's always cool. Just feels really nice on the skin, the soap. It's a good quality. Uh, the price, I didn't even get to any of that. It's a little bit pricey, $21.99 um, for four ounces. On our cost chart there, that is $5.49 an ounce, which definitely is in the pricey realm. But you have to consider that uh, Spearhead is getting um, Chantalone Lux to make the scent. So there's going to be cost involved with that. Uh, but I say I will say they've done a magnificent job with this scent. And again, uh, for me, I don't have any buyer's remorse for this soap because it's good quality and I love the scent. I love actually owning both the Diver Down and the, uh, the Seaforth Spiced here because... They are not exactly the same. And I think that was a concern of a lot of people. And fortunately, they both sort of went a little bit different with the scents, which is really a benefit to all of us if you like the style of scent, which I certainly do. All right, enough, enough blabbering there and blabbering. I'm particularly tongue twisted today for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But uh, great smelling soap here. I really like it. The ingredients, by the way, uh, it's got some that I really like. We'll put them for you right there. Jojoba, shea butter, lanolin. Definitely a good quality soap. I've used several Spearhead uh, offerings over the last six or eight months. And uh, I think they make a really nice soap. Again, with this razor, if you have the version one, it's important that you keep the, keep it flush on your face and don't torque it and get those blade stops digging in. But otherwise, it's feeling nice and smooth, and so no problems at all with the razor today. No problems with the gym blade. Some people don't like gym style razors, but uh, for me, I don't mind them a bit. Uh, I enjoy them. They're not quite as popular in the community as the double-edged razors. Uh, I'm not sure the reason, other than maybe the blades are a little more expensive, and there isn't quite the selection that there is with DE razors or DE blades rather. I think that's probably part of it. But I do know some people that just strongly dislike gym style razors. They just don't like them at all. Uh, I am not one of those people. I really enjoy um, gym style razors and I use them from time to time. And this one uh, does a really nice job, I think. It's just holding the blade in there. And that's really what you want. But uh, it's it's made in a way that uh, I think feels pretty good. You get some blade, but not too much. And probably the only criticism that I would air is about those blade stops there. They do feel a little pointy and sharp to the touch. But in saying that again, I don't know if that's been changed in the version two of this razor. 
but otherwise a uh, really nice shaver so far. And again, the soap is working really, really well. Um, I'm not really surprised because again, this probably makes, I don't know, five or six soaps from Spearhead. Um, they definitely make a quality soap. And of course this one, as I mentioned before, slightly more, you know, it's into that $5 plus range, which for me is pricey. Um, for some people not, you know, that that's something that you have to consider yourself. But I've tr tried to uh, produce a cost chart that, that puts the exceptional prices for good quality, you know, in that range. And then as prices go up, you know, soaps fall into different categories, fair, good, you know, exceptional, pricey. This one hits into that pricey range. But again, I do, I, I do understand that, um, when you're having a, a sink commission from another company, it's going to escalate the price a little bit. So you do have to understand that. But overall, I mean, the scent is fantastic. It is good. Um, and so I think a lot of people were worried about PAA and Spearhead doing the same scent. And fortunately, it is not. So both I'm happy with. Um, and this one to me has just got... I think it's, it seems a little sharper, whereas the other one seems uh, more spicy. This one is a bit brighter. You know, that's the only way I can describe the difference. But I will say, if you like uh, the PAA version, um, I think you'll like this one as well. If, if the PAA version was a real hit with you, I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't like this one. All right. Last pass here. And this is very, very nice today. By the way, I want to thank our latest Patreon supporter, Manish. Thank you so much, Manish, for your support. I really appreciate you and thank you for your kind words and mess messages. Thank you very much. It's always nice to, to announce a new supporter. It keeps things going here. And again, on this razor, I would say one of the keys is keeping that flat on your face and not torquing it that way. If you torque it like that, you get the blade stop. And Nate um, from BBS Live is the one who actually uh, brought that to my attention. Um, so we were talking about the Blackland Saber and this razor, and he said he didn't like the Saber. Now, I did not get that uh, sensation at all from the Saber, but in this one, if I'm not keeping it flat and I just tilt it a little bit or torque it, you can feel it. And so that is something to look out for if you own this, what I think is version one. And if I'm not, I'll correct it or you can correct me below because I only w was able to see what was on the website and I didn't have a chance to talk to Marianne about um, which one was this was prior to making the video, but I think it's the version one. But I would say in terms of the price for $39.99, when he has them in stock and you get another plate with it, I think it's a pretty uh, reasonable price. You can hear some feedback there, at least I hope you can. Not a bad little shaver here. Not a bad little shaver at all, I would say. Pretty enjoyable, as long as you keep that oriented properly to where you're not canting it at all or torquing it. Um, feels pretty nice, I must say. I, I've enjoyed using it today. And thank you, Marion, for sending it. We'll show uh, Marion's latest press photo right there for you. So thank you again, Marion. We appreciate you. Marion is legitimately a really kind and a nice guy. They, there's nothing fake about him. He doesn't have, you know, motives other than being a, a really great guy. I talk to him every day, along with, you know, quite a few other people. But uh, Marion is really, you know, what you see is what you get. He's the type of guy that has your back. Genuinely a kind person. And so... Hope you'll go over and give him a sub if you have not. He's a really nice, nice guy. And, you know, the world can certainly use nice people like that, I think. All right. I would say pretty doggone good shave today. So let's rinse the face and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back in off cam. We did a warm water rinse. We followed it with the uh, PIA alum with the uh, dry dock, no stinging. So that was a really nice shave. We followed that with a smooth 
or cool, I should say. Um, it was smooth and cool, cold water rinse. And then we used a magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Um, I must say it was really a nice uh, shave today. We used for the brush, the PAA Atomic Rocket. Of course, we had our trusty Captain's Choice uh, bowl. The Seaforth Spiced um, Shaving Soap is really, really nice. Uh, if you like scents like, not exactly, but like Old Spice, brighter, this is really, really excellent. Big thumbs up for me. I got this at the Razor Company, uh, by the way. Purchased it there. They have both the, the soap and the, the splash, which you see here. Uh, the Starling SE from uh, PAA, I say if you keep it flat, like so, it's a nice shaver. I think this is version one. If you cant it a little bit and get those blade stops, it doesn't feel real comfortable, so that would be... Um, if they didn't change that in version two, that would be the recommendation I would make for the, for the next version. Those feel kind of sharp. I'm going to finish it out today with the Seaforth Spice Toner. And this is a really nice glass bottle. Heavy. Um, the, the label is rather elegant. Has the notes here, ingredients there. It's very well laid out and professional. These labels on these soaps are terrific. Clean, nice design. Really nice. This doesn't have alcohol, which, you know, I like alcohol, but... It smells so good, I had to, I had to give it a shot. And uh, the consistency is kind of white like that. It is a toner, so keep that in mind. It smells great, and just like that, we're off to the races today. I hope you all have great shaves. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.